Hey guys, it's Sheo Okimi and welcome back to my channel. So today we have a really exciting video. I'm really excited for this video because I'll be doing something that I've been wanting to do for the longest time, but color with hair paint black. So if you're new here, hi. Um, I recently went natural and like cut my hair and everything. And one thing that I've always wanted to try on my hair is hair paint wax, but you can't really use hair paint wax on straight hair. Maybe you can, but I don't, I've never seen anyone with like straight hair. And on this, it says four hair types, three and four. But anyways, now that I am natural and I'm like trying new hairstyles and all of that, I was like, oh, let me try out hair wax paint. At the beginning when it first came out, I feel like it was kind of like a play around thing, like play around with crazy colors that you could wear for Halloween but never walk out with. But I am actually doing this, like I want this to actually look real, like I dyed my hair. The color I'm using is Bold Gold and I've seen people use this color and when they put it on their hair, even though like the name Bold Gold sounds like a crazy Halloween type of color, when they put it on their hair, it looks like a honey brown type of color. So this is something that I'm actually gonna like wear out for like a week or so and like I actually want it to look like my hair was dyed brown so let's we'll see together how this comes out but i think this will be really cool to try and yeah so i'm really excited i just washed my hair started getting breakage or like just seeing a lot of hair come out i guess this essentially is kind of a wash and go yeah i actually i didn't think of it that way but this is actually essentially what i'm doing right now is a wash and go with color huh because this is also a gel so i'm gonna use it for this wash and go i don't know if this is a wash and go i guess i'll call it a wash and go with some color we'll see i'm excited to see how it turns out and i like that whenever you put color on your hair it like brings out the texture you can see more of your texture better and like the curls a little bit better and the coils and the kinks better. i'm excited to see what my hair will look like with it so let's just begin whoa okay yeah if i didn't see any youtube videos of this before i don't think i would have ever tried this because this color looks crazy <laughs> so it's like a bright orange color but hopefully it's going to turn out like a honey blonde or a light brown it says you're, it's best if used with the as i am leave-in conditioner which i happen to have in my house it's my sister's but i kind of want to use this conditioner the melanin conditioner i'm just going to try out and see if i can use this leave-in conditioner with this if not then i'll just use um this as i am conditioner but i saw on tiktok that you can tell if your products will cause flaking because like i said i'm planning on actually wearing this so i don't want it to flake but i saw on tiktok that if you mix your gel and your leave-in or like your products together on the back of your hand and they separate then it'll cause flaking or something like that i don't know but let's actually try it so i'm gonna I put some leave-in on my on the back of my hand this stuff looks so messy it looks kind of glittery the color actually looks crazy in person but let's see i can't tell if this is what it's supposed to look like i feel like it's not supposed to look like this huh so i think for the interest of making this turn out good i'll actually just stick with it as i am now we are going to grab a piece in the back and i already tested this like off camera and guys i'm about to show you but the way this defines and brings out my curls, like, I didn't know I had coils like this. The color especially makes my hair, you can see more of the texture. Oh wait, dang it, I forgot to put the leave-in. So a little bit of this. Oh, and then now I'm gonna go in quite a bit of this on, and you guys are gonna see. So you can already start to see a little bit how it weighs it down just like that so now I'm gonna go through the rest of my head and hopefully this comes out like a good color it's right now still looking a little bit golden or orangey but I hope that by the time it dries and all it'll come out the exact like type of honey blonde or brown color that I'm going for I'm just gonna go through hopefully this doesn't take me that long I'll tie myself and I'll let you guys know. I should just put the leave-in all over my hair first to make this go faster. So that I'll just be going through with the with the color leader. I'm just raking my fingers through my hair. I still haven't used a brush or a comb on my hair since I went natural. 
Like, I don't, I haven't felt the need to, honestly. And I feel like it's also healthier for my hair. But yeah, I've only been finger detangling. I don't know. Tell me, let me know if you guys find that easier as well. But anyways, yeah, this whole natural thing, like I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. Even though I washed day to day, I had a lot of breakage and all, like the actual process, I'm getting better at. So I'm excited about that. And like in terms of like, products and tools Movement, and stuff. I'm gonna definition. try and keep it light, like not overwhelm <laughs> myself with becoming a product junkie because I've never liked that as a relaxed person. I don't want to become that. But when I am shopping for hair products and anything, it would be nice to save money, which brings us to today's sponsor, which is Honey. So I don't know if you guys have heard about Honey. I feel like a lot of people know about it by now because it is such a amazing way to save money online very easily but basically what it is is an online shopping tool that searches for coupons for you while you're shopping and then automatically lets you know that you can apply coupons at checkout like super super easy and you can use it on literally anything for hair products for clothes for shoes even for like food delivery there's so many different things that you can use it for it's really convenient and it's free it's free to get it on your computer. All you have to do is go to the link, click on it. It literally takes two seconds. It's in my description box. You could use my link, click on it, and it adds to your web browser. And then whenever you're shopping, it just automatically applies coupons to your favorite thing. You'd be surprised how many of the brands and things that you shop for online that Honey can just apply for you whenever you're checking out. So definitely go get Honey save you some money. The link in the description box. And I would like to thank Honey so much for sponsoring this video. Honey is one of those things that I feel really happy about being able to promote and put you guys on. Save your coins. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just continuing with the color. And as you can see, it's coming along really nicely. It does shrink back up. I'm noticing like after it stretches out, it shrinks back up to the rest of my hair. I have curls. This is crazy. Okay. Mm. I don't want to twist it. I just want it to be a little bit stretched still. I'm going to see, maybe if I use like a clip and hopefully it doesn't leave too much of a crease. I think that'll help keep it stretched a little bit. We'll see. Okay, so it's coming along. It's still looking kind of goldy, yellowish. Hopefully it dries a different color. I'm gonna see if I can still get the same result by just getting a bunch of it in my hands and just raking it all through my <laughs> hair without having to go in as many sections just to see if it's possible to make this go faster. Yeah, I'm gonna do it in larger sections because I feel like this still looks pretty good. This side took me like five minutes versus this took me like 20. They don't look that different. Ready to come together, I think. I don't know. We'll have to see how this dries. It's kind of looking a little bit green. I'm sure how I'm feeling about this color. We still have to see. The color, I'm still not sure. Hey guys, so I went to go let it dry and I was realizing after a few hours are going by, this is essentially what it's gonna look like dry on this side and it looks crazy. <laughs> it doesn't look like this is my actual hair color. It's pretty obvious that I put like a paint or a wax on top of it, which was the exact opposite of what I was trying to go for. So I was like, no, I can make this work. I don't want this to be a fail. Like I really, I've been wanting to do this for like, months and i'm like okay let me see let me rewatch the youtube tutorials see if it can work i found that they died so it looks too strong here i found that they diluted theirs not on purpose but they put another gel on top of this to like define their curls even though i wasn't going for that 
really defined look at first, even though that's what I'm getting right now, like with this wash and go type of thing. This is essentially a wash and go, but they added gel. So I tried that on this side and the color is diluted. And I was like, yes, like I did this like 30 minutes ago and I'm like, let me just wait for it to dry a little bit and see how it looks. And I'm like, yes, this is perfect. Like it's coming out good. But now as I'm looking at it again, back on camera, and as I sat here like five minutes ago, I was looking at it like, this doesn't look good. <laughs> it still doesn't look good. Like, I don't know. I'm contemplating back and forth if I should still try. But the gel I'm using is this one by Dr. Miracles because I don't own gel because I've never used it, but I found this. They sent it to me in PR and guys, I might start actually doing wash and goes because first of all, I didn't know my hair could curl like this. And I'll show you guys, this thing, like it feels like a leave-in. Like it's really creamy kind of. It doesn't really feel like your typical gel. And when you put it in your hair, it like, it has slip. So it also like detangles your hair in a way. And I didn't know that gels do that. Like there might be other gels like this, but I'm gonna actually use this product again. So if, if this was a fail, at least it taught me and forced me to go scavenging through my boxes to find this. And maybe I'll use this product on another day to just do an actual wash. Like literally when I just raked it in my fingers, through my fingers, throughout like this big chunk, I got this. Like it defined all of my curls without me having to shingle each one, which I'll show you guys. It literally feels like water and adds so much slip. <laughs> and I'm putting a ton, I'm not sure if you're supposed to put that much. I've been very heavy handed. I don't know if you can see that, like the way I'm just running my fingers through my hair. My hair was dry, but yeah, this gel is actually really nice. This is crazy. Maybe this is how all gel works. This is just my first time using any gel. So maybe this gel isn't anything special, but I'm just amazed by what gel does to my hair. I don't know, maybe this gel is special. I'm gonna try out different ones too and see. This whole thing is still new to me, so I guess every little thing amazes me still. I'm glad that if nothing else, I learned that. But yeah, I really had high hopes for this. Like the thing that pains me is that I actually really thought this was gonna work. I was really confident going into this that I was gonna come out with brown hair and I would fool people that I dyed my hair. Cause the thing is the people that I saw who did this, all of theirs turned out good. Like I didn't really see anyone who's turned out bad. And I feel like I do hair, like I should be able <laughs> to do this and I don't like, <laughs> I don't like failing. I'm Nigerian and we don't fail. It pains me to say that this is probably a fail, but I'm just still going to grab this gel and put it, I don't really know anymore. I need to just dilute the color just a tad. I don't know. See that part doesn't look that bad. Maybe I should still. But yes, throughout all of this, I was having very mixed feelings. And this is my hair the next day. As you can see, it's slightly diluted, but I feel like it really honestly depends on the lighting. See, now when I'm in the sunlight, it looks perfect. Like even in person, in regular sunlight, it looks good. But in terms of how the color actually wore throughout the days I wore it for, I actually wanted to leave it in for like a week or two, but I ended up only leaving it in for three days just because the color wasn't giving as much as I wanted it to give. Like it looked perfect in certain lightings, but in the wrong lighting, it looked a little bit green and I just wanted it to look super, super natural, like undetectable. But the three days that I had it in, it actually wore pretty well. Like it didn't flake that much. It transferred only like whenever you're taking your clothes off and like you rub your hair against it. But other than that, it actually lasted pretty well. This is me going into literally every single room in my house to show you guys how it looks different in different lightings. I could be just overanalyzing everything, but it wasn't, it didn't come out as perfect as I wanted it to be. As I'm watching the footage, that it actually didn't look that bad. I guess it doesn't look that bad. If it looked like this everywhere I went, wet, I definitely would have kept it in for longer, but still this was fun to try. And I'm definitely <laughs> gonna try it again with a different brand and see if I get better results. But overall, I just really like the idea of being able to change your hair color temporarily. Like I've never had brown hair in my whole life. So this is really cool getting to do this and I'm gonna do more of this. So let me know if you guys have tried this and if you're gonna try it, let me know. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and coming along my little adventures with me. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching.